and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a Flory Days haul for you. So they kindly sent me some items. I did get to choose what I liked. Um, so I will let you know my honest feedback as it's not sponsored as such. I've not been paid to do this haul. So, so I'm Katie, welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're a name subscriber. Oh look, it's actually red because my nails are red. Yay. I'm also, because I've just hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway of some of the items, which is really exciting. So all the links will be down below in the description box. You can also get, um, I think it's 7% off using my links below, so it's worth using. Every little helps and it all adds up. So for the giveaway, you'll need to head over to my Instagram page. The link will be in the description box down below as well, but it's at Katie Victoria Holland. So you need to follow me on there and then follow the post with Flory Days and follow the instructions on there, basically. Go and do that after this video. Link in the description box. All the links are going to be in the description box below. So let's just get in and talk about the items. The first item I'm going to talk about is my favourite item of the whole haul. This polka dot ruffle dress. This was £40.49, uh, which I think is kind of pricey for the quality of the dress. It looks lovely on and it does look expensive on, but for the quality of the dress I can imagine this being around £20 in other places. I bought this in a medium and I have to say the fit was lovely. Um, with Flora Day, they do have um, very specific size chart measurements, so definitely go on there. Get a measuring tape out, there's no point in buying something that's the wrong size. So get your measuring tape out, check your measurements and go buy that per item, okay? So yeah, it comes in red and blue, really pretty, really nice, have nothing bad to say about it. I think personally £40.94 is expensive for what it is, but it is a lovely maxi dress. It's just that I have never had to spend £40 on a maxi dress to get a nice one. So it's lovely, it's my favourite item, um, I would recommend it and it fit great. So the second item is this white dress and on the website here it looks pink, although clearly it does state that the colour is white little bit of confusion to why they've got a picture of it in pink because personally I would have preferred it in pink so I would have ordered it in pink but there was no option to do so. It was £31.08 and as you can see it on me here, it's a little bit on the short side so I'm 5 foot 10 and a size 10 to 12 UK. Um, so if anyone is over 5 foot 7 I would say this is going to be too short for you girls. Um, could potentially wear it with jeans, that's not personally my style and because I'm heavier on the bottom, it's going to make me look gigantic if that was the case. So as lovely as this dress is, I think the quality of the material, again, is quite poor. I would expect more for a £30 dress. As I said, the material is very thin um, and you can see my bra in it. And I had a nude one on, but like, it's very, very, very see-through. This is also a large, which here's me. I don't consider myself to be large and obviously it does stretch but you can see how short it is it's, it's particularly short it's more of a top um, but even as a top I just think it's just very thin so I think the quality is a little bit poor on that one okay the next item I was hugely disappointed with because in the picture looks absolutely stunning like I was so excited for this to arrive I thought god this is something a bit different for me it's still white still feminine still pretty but it's got a little bit more of a boho vibe to it which I really do like as well like believe it or not I actually have like some quirky tie-dye trousers and like a few things which are a bit out there but I love the odd thing that's like that it's just not my everyday style so I saw this and I was like that's gorgeous I love that can't wait and supposedly it's £119.82 and there's 50% off. So it's down to £60.66, pence, which, oh guys, it's such a shame because, I mean, if the model can make it look that good, I'm sure other people can make it look that good. But personally on me, I felt like one of those like 1920s, 90s 
I feel like I'm a 90s, 20s, 90 on. So it does come with a underlay, which is great. These always come handy as well for like anything. They're so handy. Um, and I ordered this in a medium and it's very, very wide. Very wide. So it probably could, yeah, it does go all the way around me. Um, it's a shame I didn't love this more because this detail is gorgeous. Like that's absolutely stunning. But unfortunately, personally, it's not my style. So that will be in one of the giveaways because I know it will look amazing on someone else, just personally not on me. So like I said, link will be below about the giveaway. Head over to my Instagram page and follow the instructions. So the next item I've got is this swimsuit. And it, the colour is more of a burgundy raspberry colour than um, on the website it says red or blue it comes in. Um, I ordered this I think in an extra large. Yeah, I ordered this in an extra large. Um, and like I said I'm a 10 to 12 and it fit me great, like the fit was perfect. So size UK 10 to 12 so you'll be absolutely fine in this. Um, it's pretty, I'd be intrigued to see the blue colour. Personally the colour for me isn't my colour, I, I expected a red more like the colour of my nail. It's £22.52, I don't think that's um, a bad price, I think that's a really good price. It's good quality, it's underlined and it's thick. I like the ruffle detail, I love a low back, um, I think it's very flattering. So that was pretty good win-win. That one will also be in my giveaway. So next we've got this yellow bikini. So here's the picture and this one comes in quite a few colours. So it comes in black, green, yellow, orange and burgundy. Um, and I have to say the yellow is a gorgeous yellow. It's really, really, really cute. I absolutely love polka dot as you know and yellow apart from pink is my second favourite colour. So that's kind of why I went for it in that colour. I kind of thought I've got a black and white things go for a bit of colour for a change Katie and I do like it although I do wish I'd gone for it black and white <laughs> but there we are the only negative I have to say on this um it's a very cheap bikini it's only 15 pounds 16 pence which is bloody cheap um the quality of the bottoms is amazing they're really thick and really secure and I love just like the little bows on the end and they are adjustable so yeah, my only fault is if you want to add the straps on, which they've given you adjustable straps in the bag, kind of if you can see here, I have um, filmed it actually here for you to have a look at. If you want to adjust the straps, it then leaves that horrible white mark. And I don't see the point in that because you're not going to want that out. So you're obviously not going to put the straps on, but then you've got these two little white loops. Anyway, it's... A very good bikini for the price, you just obviously could just remove them, you won't be able to wear the strap. I bought that one in a size large and I would say the bottoms fit me perfect but the top is a little bit tight on my bust. I could have gone up a size to an extra large on the bust, not again like I've got big, a big bust. I'm a 34C 2D, depends where I shop. So overall I like that bikini though. <laughs> the next one was an interesting one. This one's interesting. So this is the picture. Bearing in mind, I'm not naive to the fact that I'm not going to look quite like this in it. <laughs> when I ain't got the tan or the abs or the boobs. Not to put myself down though because I'm very happy and comfortable with my figure. Um, what I would say is the colour in real life it's a lot lighter, so this is it in real life, um, a lot lot lighter than the pictures. In the pictures it looks very gold and in real life I would say it's more of a champagne, which I still like the colour, but is there is a possibility that you could look a bit naked. People might double take you with this on if you're the colour colour of skin that I am, or if you're fairer skin than I am. Um, so I got this in a large and as you can see it's not large at all, it's very, the cups are tiny. I'd say this is more of a B cup um, and there's not a huge amount of material to go around your body, like it fit around me, obviously I know it's stretchy but there wasn't much left over. 
And for me personally, the ends on the bottoms have been tied, and that to me is just like a little finishing touch, and it's great. But on the bikini top, it's almost like they ran out of material, and there's just no tie, and it just looks like a bit like it just cheapens the bikini, which is a shame. Um, so this one was nineteen pounds, seventeen pence. And the last item I've got for you is this white uh, white swimmer costume. This was fifteen ninety six, and personally, this comes actually in pink, white, green, and burgundy, and from a small to extra large. And I don't wish I'd gone for the pink, but I think maybe the pink may have not been so see through. It's a shame. I don't know if it's because it's too tight on me that it, that's why it was see through, but. Maybe I should have gone for a size up. Maybe I should have gone for an extra large. So if you're 10 to 12, extra large. It's for you ladies. Um, personally as well, the length in the body, it's a little bit short for me. I think that's what pulled it so much and made it so tight. I do like the detail, the scallop detail I really like. Um, the only problem with me is that it's just that the cups are a bit see-through. You can see them from the front. But if you're size smaller, so maybe if you were a size 8 or a small size 10 with a small bust, it would fit you absolutely fine, it's just on me personally, the fit wasn't great. But the price I think, if you got it in a different colour, maybe stay, stray away from the white, because I always say to you, like, with white it can always be a bit see-through, there's always that like possibility of it being a bit see-through and a little bit less flattering. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed the Flory Day haul. Like I said, we've made it to 500 subscribers so I'm having a giveaway which is so exciting so you need to head over to my Instagram page, follow me on Instagram, the link is down below in the description box and it's at Katie Victoria Holland and follow the details on there to get to the competition. Um, so there's £150 worth of freebies I'm giving away mostly clothing and also a recipe book which is rather exciting hit my subscribe button whichever corner it is in and i shall see you on the next video have a lovely lovely day have a lovely lovely week and thank you all for being here and thank you for watching hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and leave me a comment below on your favorite item